Richard Rabbit comes to play. Pepper and George are playing in their bedroom. This will be the best house ever. <laughs> George! Richard Rabbit is here. <laughs> Georgie! Richard! Dinosaur! Dinosaur! Bye-bye, Richard. I'll be back to pick you <laughs> up later. George and Richard are best friends. <laughs> George! Richard! You've knocked my house down. Please play something not bouncy. <laughs> George has made the toy basket into a volcano. Richard is using toy trees to make a jungle. George has used the building blocks to make a river. Dinosaur! dinosaur. George and Richard have turned the bedroom into dinosaur land. I'm leaving. Ah. It's too noisy. I say potato. And I say potato. Potato! Potato! The good thing about rainy days potato. is we get to watch important potato. TV programs. Potato! 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 Mummy! George and Richard have made the bedroom into Dinosaur Land. And Dinosaur Land is very noisy. George has his best friend here, but I've got no one to play with. You could ask Susie Sheep to come over. Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. Can Susie really come over now? Let's ring her. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep speaking. Susie, it's me. Can you come to my house now? Yes, Peppa. Can I wear my nurse's costume? Yes, but come quickly. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, Susie. I'll be back to Quick, Susie. Pick you up later. <laughs> George, Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And Nurse Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. It is a hospital. I'm the important doctor. Ooh, this dinosaur looks sick. I agree, doctor. He's a very greeny ill colour. He must go to bed. And this dinosaur looks a very purpley ill colour. Yes, doctor. He must go into bed too. Dinosaur! Shush! Quiet in the hospital. Choo-choo! The bedroom is not a hospital anymore. Now it is a railway station. No, no. There aren't any trains in Fairyland. Oh, now the bedroom is Fairyland. Only pretty things are allowed in Fairyland. <laughs> What's all this crying about? George and Richard want to play dinosaurs and trains. And we want to play hospitals and fairies. Hmm. I see the rain has stopped outside. So? So? Maybe you could all play outside. But they like little boys' games. And we like grown-up girls' games. But after it's been raining in the garden, what do you normally find? Muddy puddles! And what are muddy puddles for? Jumping up and down! <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are big girls or little boys. Teddy Playgroup. It is home time at Peppa's Playgroup. Daddy, Teddy Playgroup is coming to stay. Who? Teddy Playgroup is our school mascot. It's Peppa's turn to take him home. He has pyjamas, a photo album and a toothbrush. It's all in his suitcase. I see. Peppa, Daddy Pig and Teddy Playgroup 
have arrived home. Mummy Pig, we have a special guest staying with us tonight. Really? Who's that? Teddy Playgroup. He has pyjamas, a photo album and a toothbrush. What's the photo album for? We take photos of him doing exciting things. Oh. My friends have took Teddy Playgroup all over the world. London, Paris, Egypt. Oh, I say, Teddy Playgroup does have an exciting life. Um, I hope he has an exciting time with us. It is Pepper and George's bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, this is Teddy Playgroup. Hello. He is our special guest. You all have to make room. Grrr. Oh, and that is Mr Dinosaur. He's not very good at talking. Grrr. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a photo for Teddy Playgroup's album. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Daddy, Teddy Playgroup needs to have an exciting time tomorrow. Can we go to the North Pole? Uh, how about the supermarket? Yes! I don't think Teddy Playgroup has ever been shopping before. It is morning. Pepper is taking Teddy Playgroup to the supermarket. <laughs> this shop sells everything. Oranges, apples, bananas. Very interesting. <laughs> this is the checkout, where all the food is paid for. <laughs> George wants to take a picture. <laughs> OK, George. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> That's enough pictures, George. <laughs> oh, where is Teddy Playgroup? Teddy Playgroup is missing. You've lost Teddy Playgroup. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm sure we'll find him. Hello. How was your day? Daddy lost Teddy Playgroup. Oh, no. But I've got a plan to find him. How are we going to find Teddy Playgroup, Daddy? First, we print out all the photos we took of him. Mummy Pig is unpacking the shopping. Where are you going? We're going to stick pictures of Teddy Playgroup on trees. Oh. Daddy, wait for me! Why are we sticking photos on trees, Daddy? When people see the pictures of Teddy Playgroup, they'll know he's lost and they can help us find him. Oh. This is Teddy in my bed. <laughs> this is Teddy in the kitchen. <laughs> and these are George's pictures at the supermarket. Oh, Teddy Playgroup. I know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Mummy, we know where Teddy Playgroup is. Yes, he's in the shopping bag with the pasta and tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa is showing her class Teddy Playgroup's photo album. I was worried. That Teddy Playgroup wouldn't have an exciting adventure with us. Then luckily, my daddy lost him at the supermarket. <gasps> but we found him again in the shopping. Ooh. That was an exciting adventure. Yes, it was. <laughs> 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 the fire engine. Mummy Pig is dressed as a fireman. Mummy, why are you dressed like that? I'm going to the Mummy's fire engine practice. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's just a good excuse for a cup of tea and a chat. Well, what are you doing today, Daddy Pig? I've got a very important meeting with the Daddy's football team. <laughs> That's just a lot of grown-up boys kicking a football around. <laughs> We're having a barbecue as well. Here are Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can we see the fire engine? Yes. Oh, goody! <laughs> <laughs> 
This is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Hello, Pepper and George. Come and see the fire engine. Wow! Fire engine! There's a ladder for climbing, a hose for squirting water and a big bell to ring. <laughs> now, let's go up the tower and look for fires. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Hello, Hello, George. Ah, oh, who's for a nice cup of tea and a chat? That sounds nice. Ooh, a telephone. Peppa, that is the fire phone. It's only to be used when there's a fire. Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Can I speak to Mummy Pig, please? Oh, it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig, you're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! Fire! Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Mummy to the rescue! Whee! Whee! Hold tight. Whee! 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 <laughs> It's Miss Rabbit's fire engine. Yes! Stand back, Daddies! Mummy Dog, turn on the water. Aye, aye, Mummy Pig. The fire is out. Hooray! Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit. No problem. It's all part of the service. The, the Mummy's Fire, fire engine, engine Service. <laughs> and now that Miss Rabbit has kindly flooded our garden, we can all jump up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! <laughs> I love fire engines, especially when they make muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Compost. Daddy Pig is making vegetable soup for lunch. Daddy, can I help? Thank you, Peppa. Can you clear away all these vegetable peelings? OK. <laughs> Stop, Peppa. Vegetable peelings don't go in the normal bin. They go in this brown bin. Ooh, Ooh. Nana. That's right, George. It's a banana skin. And there are onions and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Peppa. They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Ooh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Peppa and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We're here! Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Papa Pig! We've got a special present for you. Ah! Vegetable peelings! <laughs> Fantastic! My garden will like these. Does your garden 
eat vegetables. Oh, 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 no, Peppa. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Peppa, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top and then out of the bottom comes lovely rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, no, Peppa. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. Look. Ah, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. The worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Grandpa, can we find some more wriggly worms for your compost tape? What a good idea. Come on, George. Let's find some more wriggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> a wriggly worm. Wiggle, wiggle. You're a wiggly worm. You're a wiggly worm. How do you do? I love you. You're a wiggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Be a good wiggly worm and turn it all into comp. <laughs> <laughs> then I can use the compost to... I know, I know. You put a seed in the ground, cover it in compost and it grows into a tree. <laughs> yes, Peppa. And talking of trees, we'd better go and help Granny Pig. She's collecting fruit in the orchard. What's the orchard? It's where you find fruit trees. We've had this orchard since I was a little piggy. <laughs> Hello, Granny Pig. Candy Pig. Are you going to help me collect some apples? Yes, Granny. Oh, the apples are too high up. Don't worry, Peppa. Granny and Grandpa have a little trick to collect the apples. Everybody hold on to the tree. On the count of three, shake the tree as much as you can. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> it's raining apples! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Granny, can we have an apple, please? Of course, Peppa. Mmm, delicious! And can you guess what we do with the apple cores? Uh... Wiggle, wiggle! That's right. <laughs> the apple cores go into the compost for the worms. Clever George. <laughs> and clever wriggly worms too. <laughs> <laughs> Talent Day. It is the end of another day at Peppa's playgroup. Children, tomorrow is Talent Day. What is a talent? A talent is something you like doing and you're good at. <laughs> I like to watch television and I'm good at it. Think of something we might like to see you do. My talent is playing the guitar. <laughs> The parents have arrived to pick up the children. Don't forget to think of something to do for Talent Day tomorrow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. I can't go to bed yet. I haven't got a talent to show tomorrow. But you have lots of talents, Pepper. Yes, I can skip. I can sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can dance. It's hard to choose one talent. I am good at lots of things. Don't worry. You can decide tomorrow. OK. It is talent day. My talents are skipping, singing and dancing. I practised them all last night. I was practising watching television last night. That's not a talent. Madam Gazelle said so. What can I do then? Who would like to show us their talent first? <coughs> Danny Dog? I can bang a drum. 
I can bang it louder. No, that was lovely, Danny. Yay. Pedro Pony, what is your talent? Magic tricks. <clears throat> Here is a glass of water. It is wet and see-through. Ah! Now I will make the water disappear. Ooh! Please close your eyes. Open your eyes. <gasps> the water has gone. Thank you. <coughs> Emily Elephant. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> And what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. It only works if I go up on my tiptoes. That was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping. But I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can still do dancing. Susie Sheep, what is your talent? Dancing. No, you can't dance. Oh dear, dancing was Peppa's last talent. It is so nice that everyone has chosen a different talent to perform. Now, who do we have left? Peppa! I was going to skip or sing or dance. But they've all been done. A talent can be anything, Peppa. But not watching television. <laughs> Think of something you really like to do. I know! I've got a talent that I'm really good at. I wonder what Peppa's talent can be. My special talent that I'm the best at in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles.
library. It is bedtime. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. <laughs> Can I have a story, please? OK. I'll read you the Red Monkey book. But we always have that one. The Red Monkey has a bath, cleans his teeth and goes to sleep. Uh, yes. That is what happens. Can we choose another story? The Blue Tiger, the Green Spider, the Orange Penguin. Oh, what's this one? The Wonderful World of Concrete. I've been looking for that. Is it your book, Daddy? It's a book I borrowed from the library. What's a library? It's a place you borrow books from. And when you've finished reading them, you take them back. But Daddy Pig has forgotten to take this book back. I have had it for rather a long time. Never mind. You can take it back tomorrow. <sniffs> but now it's bedtime. After Daddy reads this story. It's not much of a story, Peppa. Please read it, Daddy. OK. <laughs> the Wonderful World of Concrete. Concrete is a construction material composed of sand, water and chemical admixtures. Chapter 1. Sand. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig have fallen asleep. It is morning. Peppa and her family have come to the library. <laughs> wow! What a lot of books! Shh! Peppa, you must be quiet in the library. Why? Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please! Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. Um, I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. Oh, don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty Daddy. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit? Can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Fairies, flowers, pretty dresses. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Peppa. <laughs> hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. <laughs> George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. <gasps> He had a bath, cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No, he jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Ooh. He had a picnic with a dinosaur, Ooh. swam under the sea and climbed the highest mountain. That was a busy day. The end. Wow! Read it again. We can borrow it and read it at home, Peppa. But I was going to choose this book or... This one. You can take three books home if you want, Peppa. Yippee! But you must remember to bring them back on time. Yes, Miss Rabbit. And you must remember to bring your book back too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'll make sure Daddy remembers. Yes, Peppa. I'm sure you will. Ho, ho! <laughs> <laughs>
fish. It is a lovely sunny morning. Daddy Pig is driving to work in his car. Breakfast time, Goldie. Mummy Pig is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, Goldie isn't eating. Oh, maybe she's not feeling very well. Let's phone Dr Hamster the vet. Dr Hamster the vet speaking. Hello, Dr Hamster. Goldie the fish is not eating. And she looks sad. Oh, you better bring Goldie to see me right away. Oh, Daddy took the car. How do we get to the vet? We can take the bus. Oh, goody! <laughs> this is the bus stop. The timetable says the next bus will be here at ten o'clock. What time is it now? Ten o'clock. Hooray! <laughs> How many tickets? One mummy ticket and two little piggies. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. <laughs> Hold tight! Mr Bull is waiting for the bus. Moo! One ticket to the music shop, please. Hello, Mr Bull. We're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, dear. Feeling poorly, are we, Goldie? She can't talk. She's a fish. Of course. Uh, maybe she'd like to hear a tune on my tuba. <laughs> it sounds funny. That's why I'm going to the music shop to get it mended. Ooh. Mrs Sheep, Mrs Cat, Mr Zebra and Madame Gazelle have got on the bus. Uh -oh. Four tickets to the supermarket, please. Madam Gazelle, we're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, is Goldie not well? She likes you. <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. <laughs> Supermarket! Bye! Music show! Bye! Last stop, the vet! The vet helps sick pets get better. Oh, is this the sad little fish that won't eat? Yes, watch this. Goldie has eaten the food. Oh, she didn't eat at home. Maybe Goldie was bored at home. The interesting journey has cheered her up. Oh. You have a very healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr Hamster. Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are going home on the bus. Mr Bull is going home with his bended tuber. It's as good as new! <laughs> Madame Gazelle and her friends are going home with their shopping. I see Goldie the fish is happy again. Yes, it was the bus ride that made her better. The fish in the bowl swims round and round, round and round, round and round. The fish in the bowl swims round and round all day long. <laughs> Hello, where have you been? We took Goldie to the vet and now she's better. <coughs> oh dear, Goldie has a cough. <coughs> I think we should take Goldie to the vet again tomorrow. I can drive you in the car. No, Daddy, we want to go on the bus. It's fun. OK, we'll go on the bus. <laughs> Everyone loves going on the bus, especially Goldie the fish. <laughs> Trip to the moon. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is playing with her bouncy ball. <laughs> George and his friend Edmund Elephant are playing with their space toys. <laughs> moon, moon. George is pretending that the bouncy ball is the moon. I was playing with that ball. Oh. Edmund's space toy has landed on Pepper's head. <laughs> <laughs> this looks fun.
Are you going to the moon? <laughs> it's just boring space stuff for babies, Daddy. It's not real. But space is real, Pepper. And there are real rockets that go to the moon. The museum has a show all about the moon. <laughs> Should we go and see it? Yay! Will we really have to go to the moon? No, Pepper. we're not going to the moon. We're going to the museum. OK. Here is the museum. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? <laughs> yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. There you are. Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa, it's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Peppa. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. Edmund knows all about space. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know what these planets are made of? They're made of cardboard. These models are made of cardboard. But the real planets are made of rock and ice and gas. But of course the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, the moon is made of rock. And this is a serious tour, so no jokes and no giggling. Here we are on the moon. It's a pretend moon, really, isn't it? Yes. If this was the real moon, you could jump over my head. Ooh. Does anyone know why we can jump so high on the moon? Gravity! Oh, that's right, Edmund. Gravity is what keeps us on the ground. It is weaker on the moon, so you can jump higher. Ooh. We can make you feel like you're jumping on the moon with the help of science. That sounds impressive. How do you do that? With big rubber bands. Everyone is strapped into Mr. Rabbit's anti-gravity rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing on the pretend moon is fun. Say moon cheese. Moon cheese. <laughs> and that is the end of the tour. Please walk this way. Are there trees on the moon? No. Are there any cars on the moon? No. Are there any moon shops? No, that would be silly. Welcome to the moon shop. We've got moon maps, moon books. We've even got a picture of piggies on the moon with an elephant. Look, there we are, jumping on the moon. We've got moon rock too. It's got a picture of the moon all the way through the middle. Ooh. How about some real moon cheese? How much is it, Miss Rabbit? Five pounds, please. Five pounds? Pounds? It's all for a good cause. I like the moon now because it's very interesting. Mmm, and very tasty.
it is bedtime for Peppa and George. Good night, my little piggies. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come for dinner. Hello. Hello. Where are Peppa and George? They're asleep. Oh, but I so wanted to see them. Can I take a peek? OK, Granny Pig, but be very quiet. Hello, my little darlings. You should be asleep. Tell us a story. OK, but only if you promise to go straight back to sleep. We'll go to sleep after the story. All right. Once upon a time, there was... A little boy called Pedro Pony, and he found a magic bean. Oh, yes. Now... Pedro planted that bean and it grew into an enormous beanstalk that went high into the sky. That's right. Pedro climbed to the top of that beanstalk and found a... A horrible big giant. But I don't want that. I want a princess. Oh, yes. There he found a beautiful Princess Pepper. <laughs> and Sir George, the brave knight. <laughs> and a cook who makes the most delicious food ever. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Grandpa Pig are waiting to eat dinner. I'll go and see what's keeping Granny Pig. What's next in the story? Naughty Granny Pig. You woke the little ones. We promised to sleep when the story ends, Grandpa. I'm good at ending stories, Granny Pig. You go downstairs. I won't be long. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, and a cook who makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The end. Then they all woke up, and along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. <laughs> that bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. <laughs> a scary dragon! <laughs> Peppa, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> OK. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party. And all their friends came. <laughs> right, I think I'd better sort this out. <laughs> Daddy Pig. They're almost asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take over now. You have to finish the story, Mummy. All right, quickly now. Tell me what's happened. Once upon a time, in olden days, a long time ago... Mummy Pig's been up there for a long time. I can hear snoring. At last, Pepper and George are asleep. And then they all lived happily ever after. The end. Peppa? George? Shush! Mummy is asleep. <laughs> it looks like Princess Peppa is the best at telling bedtime stories. That's right. I am. <laughs> <laughs>